What if your body was a gift and contribution to your life and not something that you've been stuck with? What if your body could change quickly and easily? Right Body for You will inspire you and show you a different way of creating the body and the life you truly desire. Now here's your host, Danielle. And welcome to Right Body for You, everybody. I am your host. I'm your body tour guide, your giggle leader, and, you know, we just tend to have a lot of fun on the A to Zen family. You guys, if you've never joined us in the chat room in a live, uh, during the live show, please do. You don't have to download anything, so don't worry about adding programs. If you're like me, you don't have to worry about adding programs to your computer. You just go to A to Zen.fm, go in the drop-down menu of chat room, put in a name, any name. You've seen some interesting ones in there. And then it pops you in and I tell you, the most interesting stuff comes up. Um, The show right before me called Seducing Beyond Limitations. A couple of lovely ladies. Rachel I've known for years. She's one of my favorite people on the planet and Yuri's just fantastic. She, we, I get into the chat room and they're talking about wet and horny and all of this kind of stuff. And I'm like, fantastic or I'm like I should have listened to that show but you know what I will go to the replays and listen to it because it's pretty dang funny but I loved it because they're like wet and horny where can that lead you I'm like it leads you to the right body for you um I had a conversation with somebody last night about how I I truly have a perverted mind and um I can like take things and make it not pretty quickly and it, it's pretty fun um so Check it out, A to Zen family. We tend to have a good time, even in the bat room. All right, so today we're talking about part two. <laughs> Sorry, part two of choosing a program for your body. You know, because last week it was part one. And if you missed part one, you can go to the aforementioned archives and check it out. Um, I ran out of time. I mean, literally, normally, you know, I've been doing radio for 30 years. And normally I have a pretty good sense of the time I have left and break, things like that. I don't know where I was last week because it was like, I have five minutes left. I have a whole show to go still. And luckily the schedule worked out that we were able to move things around and I was able to do part two today. So choosing a program for your body, part two. Oh, and people are joining me in the chat room. Hello, lovely ladies. All right, so uh, a little bit from last week. I don't want to do uh, (laughs) more of making a cake while listening. Somehow that makes me really, really happy. Might be my body. Too bad she's in Canada. I'd be like, I'm on my way over, Lori, for a piece. At least a bite of the batter because. I don't know about you, but my body kind of likes that uh, cake batter type stuff. I used to, I used to eat cake batter with my mom. No joke, you guys. When I was in high school and it was just her and I, uh, I had four older brothers and sisters, and they were all out of the um, house. We would make cake batter. We stopped putting eggs and stuff in it, but basically it was like just with water or oil or whatever to make it nice and, you know, gooey and. We would eat that. Interesting memories. Anyways, everything that brought up for everybody. Destroying and uncreated. (laughs) Good, bad, but fuck all my shirts, boys, and beyond. All right, so back to the serious topic at hand. (laughs) I know some of you are thinking I can never be serious. Kind of true. So choosing the, the program that works for your bodies. All right, so this has been... Kind of a culmination of the past few shows. You know, we've been talking about uh, listening to your body, actually being able to hear what works for your body, um, things like that, you know, not having the projections of what you think it should be and yada, yada, yada. So now um, Lori's making hoppy seed cake with a yummy butter icing and chocolate on top. Fantastic, as long as we don't have a drug test afterwards. Um, all right, so last week we were talking about, okay, so I'm a, I communicate more with my body. I've gotten clear on what my body and I would like to change. 
uh, not the projections or not what I think the body should change, but like what my body actually desires to change. And oh my gosh, the chat room's hilarious. All right, so um, last week we were talking about okay, so how do I go about changing my 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 body? Um, you know, honestly, one of the best ways is you guys have heard me say this before, asking your body. And I know all of you, most of you, some of you, a few of you went, ugh. Will she ever stop saying asking the body? No, I will never stop saying asking the body. Um, And I also know that a lot of people like some form of plan, some form of guidance. Uh, I get it. You know, 30 years of health and nutrition um, with my mom and then afterwards just (laughs) was right body for you and me. I, I get it. It's a big subject. I know for some people, health and nutrition and changing your body or anything like that is kind of an overwhelm like finances used to be for me or foreign countries used to be for me. Um, So I get that. Some people like direction. And what I mean by that is like, you know, you guys ever have any part of that, your life that you look at, you're just like, oh my gosh, it's just so much different. I don't. I don't even know where to start. Somebody just do it for me. Tell me what to do. Just, 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 do, do you have a list? Can I follow a list? And I get that. I really do. The first time I went to a foreign country, you know, I'm like a lot of Americans. Um, I didn't have a passport for a long time. I had never gone off the North American continent. Um, I know I had been to Mexico. I I think I had been to Canada. Yes, I had been to Canada, um, but that's when you could do it with a, with a driver's license. Now the Canadian border, U.S. border, we like our passports, but uh, but I had never been off the North American continent, nor anywhere else that spoke a different language. So one of the things I'm most grateful for about access was it got me off my butt and off of the North American continent. And it got me into so many different places. Like I go to Italy on Sunday and my cleaner was here yesterday and she was talking to me and she's like, oh, you're going to Italy on Sunday? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, have you ever been there? I'm like, several times. And I'm like, and I go three times this year. And she's like, oh, how cool is that? And it used to be completely overwhelming for me. So the first time I went to a foreign country, I basically had somebody hold my hand. <laughs> It was so interesting. Um, I was grateful for it because I, so I landed in Italy. Somehow can't remember exactly how I, oh, I just had a layover in Italy. I remember that. Went to London, long story, but I had a layover in Italy to go to London, long story. And um, when I was in London, I hooked up with our dear friend Diva Diaz, who does all the X-Men stuff, who's been on the radio show a couple of times. And I, my next step was going back to Italy after being in London. And I'm like, please go with me. Please, 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 please go with me. Because she speaks Spanish and she could get by in Italian. I'm like, please go with me. Please, please, please. please. And, you know, she's born and raised in England. And so she she has this had this European thing down. So she held my hand through it. And I'm like, I'm so grateful for her to this day for many reasons. But, it, you know, that first one. Um, and the same with finances, you know, it's like, I love my accountants, please somebody else do it for me, because uh, there's so much information, I don't even know where to start. And, you know, don't get me started on taxes, that one's still kind of a beyond somebody else do it for me. So I get it when we're talking about bodies, that sometimes you want somebody to just tell you what to do, uh, which is why I titled this program, <laughs> the why I titled the radio show, let's not confuse the issue, why I titled the radio show Choosing a Program. Yes, a lot of energy comes up on the word program, and we cleared a lot of that in last week's show, so please, you know, refer to that. But just because we can, everything that comes up, all the decisions and judgment conclusions comes up with the word program when it's connected to body change. Truth, would you guys be willing to join on create all that, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, for pocket, nice, yours, boys, and beyond. Okay, so... <laughs> I titled it program just simply because 
sometimes you need a little bit of help to get things going. I get this. I do. I've been there myself. Um, it's like, let me start with this. Here's the thing. Start with it doesn't mean you have to end with it or end when it does. You know, last week I told the story of when I was, I did a four-week cleanse. I asked my body, because, you know, ask the body. I'm always about asking the body. I asked the body what it would like to do, and it said it wanted to do this no sugar four-week cleanse thing <clears throat> that a friend of my mom's had created. So I'm like, okay. And the first week was great. Halfway through the second week, it sucked monkey butts. I mean, it was just horrible. I wasn't having fun. I didn't feel good. My body didn't feel good. And, you know, and this is the point where a lot of reality says, suffer through it. Just push past that point and you'll get through. Um, I have another option for you. Ask the body. <laughs> ask the body, body truth. I, I asked my body, I'm like, okay, so do you want to do this cleanse anymore? And it was like, no. I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm like, oh, did I fail? And I asked my body, I'm like, wait a minute, did we fail? Or did you get everything you required when in the week and a half instead of the four weeks? <clears throat> Excuse me. And it said it got all it required in the week and a half. So it wasn't a failure because it didn't do the full four weeks of this quote unquote program. I got what I needed in that week and a half. My body got what it needed in that week and a half. Okay, so <clears throat> just to retouch on that, um, you need to ask your any program, any program that feels light at the beginning, you ask your body, hey, body, let's do this, and you do it, and you start. You need to ask your body every day if it wants to continue because sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it got what it required quicker, you know, um, those of you who have taken some access classes might have heard Dr. Dane here talking about, you know, the co-creator of access. He did this, it was a three-month program of this working out thing, and his buddy got the results in 30 days instead of the 90 days. So it's like you need to ask your body, no matter, choose a program, great. Ask every day if your body still wants to do it. It could do it shorter. It could do it longer. It's really it's really up to you. Um, and, you know, we talked a lot about that in the last one. That was just kind of a, a recursor of what that was about, which leads me to if it's not fun, don't do it. <laughs> I can't really emphasize this one more. If it's not fun, don't do it. Okay. Um I was on another page, so I did see we're about to go to a break. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. We're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, I'm going to expand upon. If it's not fun, don't do it. Because um, I know there's a lot of been things that I would say were not fun for me, but my body wanted to do it. So it's like, what the freak exactly do I mean of if it's not fun, don't do it? I will explain more. If you will stay with me through the break, it's quick. I think I'll send um, we will expand upon if it's not fun, don't do it. And there's a couple more tools and everything I have and examples about uh, choosing the program that works for your body. Okay. This is Danielle. This is Right Body For You. We're on A to Zen FM, and we'll be right back. What if your body could be an ease and not a burden? What would life be like if you could enjoy your body? What if changing your body was easier than we've been taught? And what if it's not about the latest fad? Join Danielle each week on Right Body For You as she explores what bodies are and the ease of change that's possible. Each week you will receive inspirational stories of those who've used the Right Body For You energetic tools to change their body and the tools that they used, tools that you can begin to use immediately. Listen for Right Body For You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on a to Zen.fm. What if you really do change molecules by your interaction with them? What if the change you've been looking for is right before your eyes? What if the uncomfortableness that comes with difference could be fun? What if the closed-minded people of the world no longer determined our world? What if gratitude trumps judgment every time? What if your kindness healed the world? What if the earth is asking for your help? And what if you had the resources to give it? 
This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Picasso, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Aristotle all knew to be true. Hi, my name is Dane here. Thirteen years ago I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything changed for me. What if there are no dumb questions, or any question too large? What if you being you are the gift and the change this world requires? Is now the time? For more questions to create a change in your world, sign up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. My gift to you, beingyouclass.com. This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call in the U.S. 815-880-8255 or Canada 613-800-8763 or U.K. 4433-0001-0625. You can Skype us at a zenfm or if you'd like to email a question, please send it to Danielle at accessconsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. <laughs> And welcome back to Right Body for You. I am Danielle. I'm your host. I am your body tour guide. And, you know, I'm going to have to say on a somewhat serious note, I think I have a drinking problem. I'm not kidding. Well, I'm always kidding, but I'm not kidding. I'm sitting here. I'm looking at my desk where I'm doing the radio show with y'all. I have coffee, Coke, flat water, Pellegrino, and Grapefruit Pellegrino. This is just since this morning. It's only noon here. (laughs) I have five drinks on my desk. I think I have a drinky problem. (laughs) Which I'm joking. It's just me honoring my body of what it wants in every 10 seconds. All right. So, oh, before I forget, I really want to invite you guys to the Shattering the Lie of Body Image Call. It happens, it starts in an hour after the show ends. It is so fascinating, this, the energy that is coming up around this. You know, I announced it last week. I've been teasing you guys with it for about a month. And I announced it last week that it's, uh, I finally scheduled it. And it's, like I said, it's about an hour after the show ends. And the energy building around it is fa- it, 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 it's it's almost palpable with the change that is already happening and becoming possible to be able to dispel this notion of body image, you know. And it's interesting because things that are you know we always talk about you do one pod poc, which is the excess conscious verbal clearing uh, procedure processes. Um, Three hundred fifty thousand people get free. Well, just in the past week that I have posted this class, a lot of interesting things happened and stuff that doesn't even have anything connection in this reality to access consciousness. Like on my Facebook page, I posted this artist does a weekly video um, just about various things. And the one she posted yesterday was just titled Body Image. And it was this really interesting statement that she was doing about, you know, the warp of it, of body image. And in the past 24 hours, it's had 37 million views already. This is an issue that's big in a lot of people's universes that they don't like to talk about, but it's already changing. And it's just interesting to see that in the past week. So please, 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 please join us. It's $35 US. It's it's really just to pay my instant teleseminar bill. <laughs> And it's it is required, you know. It is so many people, men, women, it doesn't matter, have this this lie of body image. And you know, I'll give you a little hint of what the call is going to be starting with. It's like body image is false. It is a term used, created, enforced, and marketed by marketed marketers and PR people. In the 1950s, this is when it gained popularity um, as a way to promote clothes and makeup and things like that. So let's see. Let's make people have a negative body image. Or first we're going to create body image. Then we're going to say it's a negative thing so they will buy more. So, you know, it's like we try to do this body image when the actual body image itself is a lie. It's it's this, this phrase that we've tied so much into that isn't actually attainable. So. 
we're going to do a lot of pod talking about that. So I hope you guys will join us. People in the chat room said, oh, they just they just paid and um, can't be live but want the replay. And thank you for mentioning that. If you can't be live, the replay is available and it will be sent to you. And I encourage you to sign up before the call because when you do that, your energy is there, your energy is included, and it's part of the change. So the more energy we can actually get into this, the greater change we can create together. So thank you. Um, you can find it on Facebook, and they'll probably put it in the chat room because they're pretty freaking awesome about that. Um, cool. All right, so back to the choosing the program for your body, part two. Due in Italian. Due. Do. Do. Dos in Spanish. Uh, do. How do you say it in French? D-A-U-X. I don't know. I don't know French. I'll stop pretending. So. Before the break, I was talking about if it's not fun, don't do it. And this is an interesting phrase because people can take it to an extreme because they don't ask more questions around that. They're like, well, it's not fun. I'm not doing it. Okay. You have to be aware of the energies. And this is what I'm asking you about, asking your body things and being aware of the energies and being present with things, is you want to start looking at the energy behind it also. Okay. So for like me, an example recently was I had, besides being the right body for you coordinator and facilitator for access consciousness, I'm also the body class coordinator for access consciousness. So basically any class that has the word body in it, I'm involved with. And I had to get up at 5 a.m. yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah to do a call with those in Japan, the body process facilitators who I help coordinate um, in Japan. So it was evening for them, very early morning. For me, it was a 5.30 a.m. call. This is not exactly what I would say was fun for me or my body. See, it involves my body because I had to get it up and out of bed. So the alarm goes off at 5 a.m. and I'm like, oh, this is so not fun. And so in that, you know, like, oh, it's not fun. Don't do it. Well, I want to ask more questions because it's like, it wasn't this reality. It's like, this is fun. Jump up and joy. I can't wait. Woohoo! 5.30 a.m. More call. Ah. No. But it was, when I looked at it, it's like, okay, truth, is it required? Yes. Truth, will it create change? Yes. Um, will it facilitate the Japanese program yes so i'm like okay so i got up. i got up that moment was not fun but the actual call itself was a blast it was interesting because i'm like okay i get done with the call i can go back to sleep before you know i pre-record the radio show and blah 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 i get on with my day i had so much fun on the call that i ended up not going back to sleep i didn't go to sleep the rest of the day until you know that night when it was time to go back to sleep um so when you look at this, if it's not fun, don't do it. What have you described? What have you, sorry, what have you defined as fun that isn't? Everything that is, destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, I have a pocket knife, worse, boys, and bad. Okay, because what do I mean by that? It's like I wouldn't have described getting up at 5 a.m. to do a call as fun in this reality. But you know what? It kind of was. It was kind of interesting to have it be something that, is unique, you know, it, you know, I work from my home when I'm home. And so it was easy to just get up in my pajamas and to go to the phone. So it was kind of fun in that way. So again, you really want to ask more questions about this. Because I, you know, how many of us have been like, oh, I'm, my body says it wants to go to this spin class, or my body says it wants to go for this walk. I'm not sure that's fun. Well, it might be fun for your body. So you really want to ask more questions around that. Um, but also look at that. It is, and it's a different energy of like, it's fun, woohoo, or fun, not uh, maybe my first choice, but it is kind of fun, or my body's having fun with it, or like the aforementioned cleanse of it just sucked monkey butts, it wasn't fun. Um, there's a difference of an energy, but it is an indication of something that's going on. If something's not fun for you, you want to ask a different question. 
One of my favorite questions, especially if it's something that's required, like 5.30 a.m. meeting, what would it take for this to be fun for me? I know, crazy as it sounds, I can't tell you how many times that question has actually helped me tremendously. What would it take for this to be fun for me? If it's required, my body wants to do it, blah, blah, blah. What would it take for this to be fun? Um, So if something is not fun, look at it. Are you just whinging? (laughs) Are you just, you know, bitching and moaning? Because we can. Or does something require to change? Like with that example I gave of the cleanse, it, it was no longer fun. Halfway through the second week, it was no longer fun. And it wasn't that, oh, I'm just so bored. It's no longer fun. It was literally, this sucks. This is no longer, this is not fun. Difference of an energy, okay? And what the awareness of it's not fun got me to realize is that something needed to change. And so usually, so indication of, like, ask a different question. And if it's fun, it usually means you're going you are doing what your body's asking for. So if the program you're choosing is still fun, cool. Still ask the question, body, would you like, would you still like to do this today? Would you like to do something else? But use that indicator of fun as something that is or isn't happening, okay? So just take a look at that. All right, so, um, and on this note, you guys are all, if you're listening to the show, cute little humanoids who get bored easily, as the, the, the four mentioned fun subject that I just went on about for probably longer than was fun <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> hey, if nothing else, I amuse myself, all right? <laughs> Anyways, so we we all can tend to get bored. Our bodies can get bored, all right? And so what you want to do is you actually want to vary things up, which is one of the main reasons that um, programs tend to not work for us is we get bored. Our bodies get bored. And what do we do when we get bored? We sabotage. You know, because in this reality, it's like if it ain't wrong, don't fix it. Um, If it's working, you can't change it, blah, 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 blah. So here we are in this program. Um, It's no longer fun. Yes, we're kind of getting the results that may be working for us. And, you know, (laughs) fine. I know I'm bored out of my head, but you know what? I'll just suffer through it. How many times have we said that? I'll just suffer through it. It's not forever. It's just for four weeks. Whatever, right? So vary it up. What I mean by that is just because something is working doesn't mean you still can't make another choice, okay? This reality says that if it's working, you can't change it. So with that point of view in place, what do we do on programs like this if we're bored and we don't acknowledge it? We tend to sabotage whatever we're doing so we have the reason, justification, and excuse to change it, okay? So what if there's more to that? I was on this program, it was working great, and then all of a sudden it stopped working. Hmm, it may just be because you needed to change it up. You know, that, like I said, different elements lead into this. It wasn't fun anymore, blah, blah, blah. And we're potent, potent, potent creators and so often when we're potent creators like that, we can create crap to the reason, justification, and excuse for a change. Because this reality says, if it, ain't, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. If it's working, keep going. Okay? Yes, I keep repeating these same things. I want you to hear them <laughs> on some level, please. Um, because a variety adds so much more to the enjoyment and the continuation and your success. Um, You know, if you're doing exercise every day or movement of your body every day, you know, you may want to go for a walk every day for four days and then the fifth day you're like, I'm going to go hike a mountain. Fantastic. Don't force yourself to do the walk if that's not what your body is asking for that day, okay? You know, it's like, I go for a walk. I I go hike on a mountain. I go swim a lap. I go have sex all day, you know, whatever it is <laughs> that your body, that movement that your body is asking for. So at a variety um, with food, because your body enjoys the different tastes and textures and things like that, too. So it's like who's eating you or your body. Um, and so I know, honestly, 
it seems simplistic, but having worked with people, I know a lot of people, quote unquote, fail on programs that have eating structures because they're bored. Their body gets bored. Um, so as much as you can do to change that up, add variety, flavor, textures, and that kind of stuff, trust me, it's going to work. Um, there isn't a program out there that you can't make work for you. If it works for you a little bit or whatever, you can make it work for you however it is, or you can combine programs that work for you. You know, I talked a lot about that last week. It's like cherry pick. I like this aspect of this program, this aspect of this program, this aspect of this program. Put it together and create your own with your body because that will actually get you the results that you and your body have um, been asking for, okay? All right, so we're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we're going to touch on uh, really the point that I wanted to do a second week for because it's a big, big one. Um, it might make, be a head scratcher for a few of you. So um, <laughs> you like how I set this up? You're, I have you intrigued now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about that when we come back. Um, something that not a lot of people look at, and for me was just an awareness I got last week last year um so it's it's really an interesting concept so all right so i hope i've teased you and tormented you and and uh seduced you enough <laughs> to come back after the break all right this is danielle this is right body for you we are on a to Zen fm and we'll be right back what if your body could be an ease and not a burden what would life be like if you could enjoy your body what if changing your body was easier than we've been taught? And what if it's not about the latest fad? Join Danielle each week on Right Body For You as she explores what bodies are and the ease of change that's possible. Each week you will receive inspirational stories of those who've used the Right Body For You energetic tools to change their body and the tools that they used, tools that you can begin to use immediately. Listen for Right Body For You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on a to Zen.fm. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The BARS is the first class in Access Consciousness, a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a BARS session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a BARS class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? This is Right Body For You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call in the U.S. 815-880-8255 or Canada 613-800-8763 or U.K. 4433-0001-0625. You can Skype us at a to zenfm or if you'd like to email a question, please send it to danielle at accessconsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. Hi, and welcome back to Right Body for You. This is Danielle. I am your host. I am your giggle leader. I am talking to lots of people all over the world. Um, I can multitask sometimes. All right, sometimes I can, sometimes I can. All right, so back to this choosing a program for your body part two. All right, so this next concept for me was really interesting. Um, it came up last year. I was co-facilitating this teleseries with the founder of Access Consciousness, Gary Douglas, called uh, Addressing the Lies of Obesity. And it was really interesting because a couple hours before one of the calls, I was uh, I was living my life. Well, but I had my niece 
and her husband and their daughter living with me at the time. I was working from home and my it was winter time and my niece was on her way to work. And it was a couple hours before the call and my niece comes in and she's like, I need your help. I'm like, what? And her car was stuck in a snowbank. And I'm like, okay, let's go rock this car and, you know, see how we can get out. Um, and so I went out there and I started pushing on the car. Nothing's going, nothing's going. It's not moving. And I'm like, hmm. So I asked my body, I'm like, okay, body, is it possible for us to push this car out? And my body was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know, I was doing it. I was, I was, I was pushing. I was, it wasn't budging. You know, we tried the kitty litter to get more, to get more, um, to get more traction. We tried. Uh, getting it out a little bit, we tried what it was uh, boxes, flattened boxes, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And it's like uh, nothing was working, nothing was working. And I'm like, body, you said we can do this. Can we do this? And my body was like, yes, we can do this. So I'm like, then why the freaking, freaking fracking is it not working? I mean, come on. You said we could do it. Why aren't we doing it? And then it's and then my body was like, um, yes, we can do it. Not you can do it, but we can do it. it. Took me a second. I'm like, what? And then because I'm not always bright, I'm just like, I, I was in the midst of also trying to get the car out and being like, ah, frustrated, you know, and. I'm like, okay, so body, what would it take to do this? And this is a conversation going on in my head. So I'm pushing the car, pushing the car, pushing the car. And then I'm like, okay, friggin', what's it going to take to do this body? Do it. And what was interesting is in that moment, I dropped to my knees and I got the traction from underneath that I needed to get the car out. And the car came out almost immediately. Now, what's interesting is in this reality, getting on your knees behind a car that could slide back is not probably the most ideal thing that you think you should do. It's like, what happened? I hit myself with a car. What? <laughs> you know, <laughs> talented. And um, But what was interesting is that was what required was, was required to get the car out, and my body knew this. Okay, so why am I telling you this story in the conversation that was going on in my head simply because I got the information from my body body can we do this and it said yes and I I the infinite being said okay I'll do it and in that moment I kind of shoved my body out of the way and I tried to do it for my body okay and it wasn't working and my body's sitting there going um you're trying to do it for me instead of with me again. Because I was like, body, can we do this? And I was like, my body was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. Notice the change of sentence structure. Body, can we do this? Yes. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. So in that second, energetically, I was like, okay, body, can we do this? Yes. And then shove it out of the way. Because how many of us are control freaks of magnitude? Y'all better be raising your hand. I'm raising my hand. Control freak of magnitude. So when I found out the information that it could be done, I'll do it. Okay? How many of us do this with programs and such with our body? Get the indication. We get the information from our body. Okay, body, this is the change you desire. I can create that for you. Let me do it. And your body's going, um, I thought we were doing this together. Or how about you just let me do it? Because that would be great. You know, just get out of, this is the body, just get out of my way. Let me do it, you know. How many of us actually try to do things for our body instead of with our body? You know, and it's like, well, I asked the question, the body said it wanted this. The body said it wanted to do this program, blah, 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 blah. And then it didn't work. Well, how many of us is like asking the body for the information 
is only the first question, the first step, that first spark. And then you want to continue in that presence with the body. Okay? So how many of us have received the information from the body and then disengaged from the body to be able to, I can do it myself. Everything that is, everywhere we've made that standard operating procedure, destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, we'll talk on my insurance, boys, and beyond. Okay? I know this is where some of your heads just go, what? Huh? Uh, have you switched to a different language? I don't know. I get it. Everything that is, destroy and uncreate it. Okay. So, um, yeah, the funny, I will take over from here, Conclusion City, in the, someone in the chat room. Exactly. But look at that. How many of us do actually do that? You know, and another time, if, if for me, it was really interesting. I was, one of my very first trips to Costa Rica was with the Access Consciousness seven-day classes. And, you know, I was still... Uh, I'm still every day working on the communication with my body and what's possible. But for me, this is one of those first moments when I realized the potency that my body had when I wasn't uh, stopping it or trying to control it. Because it was interesting, I was uh, going to the river with this woman who was a bodybuilder, okay? So, you know, body as a bodybuilder, I'm not saying this in general, I'm saying this in just her. As a bodybuilder, she had a lot of conclusions and projections about uh, her body, a domination force, um, how she thought she was with her body, wasn't with her body, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm just saying it was her universe. So we're trying to skip down the river on these wet rocks on the side of the bank to try to catch our um, inner tubes that we had lost. <laughs> cute not bright so so and it was the some of the rocks were slimy they were wet so not exactly the best footing right and so what was interesting is I was like in a moment of brilliance I went okay body I I the infinite being I don't know how to do this um you know how though do you got this and my body was like yeah let's go woohoo and so I was like light of foot just hit every rock perfectly. And I was like halfway down the river and hear this, hey, from way far behind me. And it was this other woman I was with. And I'm like, I stop. I'm like, what? She goes, how did you get that far that fast? I'm like, I let my body do it. Okay. I was still with my body. I was still present. But it's kind of like I was I was acknowledging my body's uh, proprioception awareness of the universe around it that it knew what rocks to land on how to land on them because it was there it you know the body foot um and how to proceed and not only the rocks that were stable the rocks that weren't stable you know because it has this awareness of the earth your body has awareness of this earth as well and so it was really interesting for me in that moment because for me it was one of those moments where you're truly in tune and oneness and communion with your body it's not that I went away and let my body do it, but I let my body do what it knew, acknowledged it, and received the information. And things, shockingly, right, became easier. So and this is what I'm talking about with these programs. How many times have we received the information, whether it's a program, whether it's someone to have sex with, some, whether it's food, whether it's clothes, whether it's movement that day, how many of us go, okay, body, that's what you want. Cool, thanks, I'll do it. You know, it's like the mother trying to do the homework for the little kid, for their children. Oh, okay, honey, I want you to get an A, so I'm going to do your homework for you. You go out and go away, right? So how many times have we actually tried to do it for our body instead of with our body? We receive, we, it's like, yay, I asked the question of my body, and then oof, we put the barrier down again and try to do it for your body, okay? So this is why I keep going on this. It's like, you guys want to look at this. It's not something you want to do for your body. You want to do it with your body, with your body. Receiving this information from your body, just the first step, okay? All right, so we're going to take a quick little break. Um, 
when we come back, I'm going to talk, I'm going to run another process or two and uh, see where we can get with hopefully a little bit more clarity on uh, choosing the right program for your body. Okay. This is Danielle. This is Right Body for You. We're on AtoZen.fm and we'll be right back. What if your body could be an ease and not a burden? What would life be like if you could enjoy your body? What if changing your body was easier than we've been taught? And what if it's not about the latest fad? Join Danielle each week on Right Body for You as she explores what bodies are and the ease of change that's possible. Each week you will receive inspirational stories of those who've used the Right Body for You energetic tools to change their body and the tools that they used, tools that you can begin to use immediately. Listen for Right Body for You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on AtoZen.fm. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane here, and I would like to invite you to an adventure in being. I've just written and finished a new book known as Being You, Changing the World. Are you one of those dreamers? One of those people who's always known that other possibilities should be available but haven't yet been able to see them be created? Well, I wrote this book for you. In it, you'll find tools, processes, and unique perspectives to change the things you've always wanted to change but didn't know how. In it, you'll find an invitation to a different possibility for a way that we can be in this world that changes not only our lives, but by being us, allows us to contribute to changing everything planet-wide that doesn't work. Are you aware that truly great people, truly being them, is the only thing that has ever created a great change on this planet? Are you willing to step up? Are you willing to be one? Check out a copy of my new book, Being You, Changing the World. I invite you to go to beingyoubook.com for a free gift. This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call in the U.S. 815-880-8255 or Canada 613-800-8763 or U.K. 4433-0001-0625. You can Skype us at atizen.fm. Or if you'd like to email a question, please send it to danielle at accessconsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back, everybody, to Right Body for You. I am Danielle. I am your host. I am your giggle leader, body tour guide, and sometimes head scratcher. And I hope I hope last segment made a little bit of sense, you guys, somewhere. Um, you need new concept of, wait a minute, I'm doing it for my body. I got the information, and then I try to do it before for my body. So I hope that... That makes a little sense. I hope that got a little bit of clarity um, in this these last two weeks of doing of the finding the right program for your body body part one and two. Um, in that, <clears throat> excuse me, I shared some tools, um, some tips, some little things of like uh, this might be an indication of this. Please ask a question and that kind of fun stuff. So please, I hope. I hope you got something out of this. I know I had a great time. And so everywhere you've already decided and judged the rightness or wrongness of the rightness or wrongness of the rightness or wrongness of your body, truth, which would be well destroyed and creative. Right, wrong, good, bad, but pumpkin, I trust boys beyond. And everywhere you decided and there's the rightness and wrongness of you in regards to your body, that you are the weakest and most destructive force for your body. <laughs> Truth, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, football, online, shorts, boys, and beyond. Because trust me, you are not the most destructive force um, for your body. Because first of all, you're listening to this show. If you're listening to the show, you're in the question, you guys. Um, we all have conclusions and decisions and judgments that creep up and then we get to change it. But trust me, you wouldn't be listening to this show if you weren't in question, if you weren't willing to see a different possibility with your body. So trust me, we're not the most destructive force to the body because you're asking questions already. So everywhere you've already decided and judged, you are the worst part of your body's existence 
truth would be well destroyed and uncreated. Right, wrong, good, bad, fuck, on night, choice, boys, and beyond. Because without that, you try to separate from your body or prove that you can have your body, and sometimes that is by doing things for your body instead of with your body. So what energy, spirit, and consciousness can you and your body to be, to be the ease of oneness and communion you truly be? If you can allow that, destroy it and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, fuck, on night, choice, boys, and beyond. All right, cool. Um, Shattering the lie of body image starts in about an hour. I can't wait for this call. Oh, my gosh. I have so much information to share, processes. People have been sending in questions. We're going to have a rocking good time. Uh, This, you know, getting shattering the lie of body image. And, you guys, one of the reasons I did that shattering is because of image being in a mirror and statues and things like that, which is a little taste of what's going to come up, a little tease, statues, mirrors, what? Yes, shattering the lie of body image, okay? So it starts in an hour and nine minutes, so I hope you join us. Go to Facebook, Shattering the Lie of Body Image is the link to sign up. We'll get you the call-in details, and if you can't be on live, please go ahead and sign up before the call, and you'll get the recordings, the processes, the PDF, everything. And when you do that, your energy is there. Your energy is contributing to the change. Because I'm telling you, we have around 100 people already signed up for this call. And you know what, you guys? It's a potent group of people. We are already shifting and changing things, as you can tell by the stuff that's been coming up about body image throughout the week. Um, one is that we all are. For every pod pock, 350,000 people get free. So what can we create together on this call? I am so excited. Literally, my body tingling at the thought of it and the energy of it and just like, can it not start in 10 minutes? Well, not really because I kind of have to pee as the aforementioned five things of liquid on my desk. <laughs> and if you think that's too much information, never. Anyway, so so please join. There's plenty of time. Um, We have an hour and eight minutes, seven and a half minutes, something like that. Hi, Matt. All right, so shattering the lie of body image because it is a lie. So I hope you um, join us for that call. And please, you know, check out my website, Danielle.com or DanielleCarter.accessconsciousness.com because that's where all the workshops are listed throughout the year. I'm going to some fun places. I'm going to Toronto, I'm going to uh, Dubai, I'm going to Rome, I'm going to Egypt, I'm going to Turkey, I'm going to London, I'm going to Vienna, and I do this two-and-a-half-day workshop. We laugh, we have a good time, we pod pock, we talk about bodies and money, bodies and sex, bodies and languaging, bodies and judgments, bodies and life. Um, one of the things I hear most often is that it's not just a body class, it's a life class. So please check it out. Um, it's two and a half day Right Body For You workshop. I have a good time. I hope you all too, if you guys enjoyed the show. Trust me, when you add the facial expressions, it's kind of funny. I do have to acknowledge my smart assness. Um, and, uh, you know, I like to facilitate from that place. Uh, it's, we can laugh. We can have a good time. For me, more things change with laughter than tears. Tears has a place, absolutely. Your body likes to cry every once in a while. Um, and, you know, your body also really likes to laugh. And look at the energy of that. What is your body like when you're laughing? What is your body like when you're crying? So check it out, Danielle.com or DanielleCarter.accessconsciousness.com, D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E, two N's, two L's. And I'll be joining me in an hour. And remember, make it a fun week. Make it a happy week. Enjoy your body because it's enjoying you. I swear. I promise. It really does. And I hope you're back next week because you know what? I'll be back next week. And I hope to see you there. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for listening to Right Body for You. Danielle will return next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on A2Zen.fm. We hope you and your body will join us.